Hello, hello. I'm Chris with the Legacy team, and today we're going to be producing another component for our bar stool. Now, this is not the bar stool that we're talking about. This is an older project, the piano stool, um, but it has the same type of design when it comes to the wooden threads to adjust it up and down. Today, we're going to focus specifically on the two threaded nuts that the shaft um, goes between, and we'll show how that's done on Legacy's Maverick CNC system. To complete the threaded nuts, we will need two workstations on Legacy's Maverick CNC systems. In this video, we're going to show the first one on the horizontal workstation that cuts out the shape and the threads, and then in another video, we'll show the vertical workstation which adds the mortises to attach the legs to these threaded nuts. Because the parts we're about to produce receive a threading process, we're going to need a pocket that is directly under the threading section so that the side V cutter doesn't bottom out on our table surface. Instead of cutting these round pockets in the T slot table, we're going to use a fixture plate instead. We are using two cutters to produce this fixture plate, a surfacing cutter to quickly pocket out the reliefs for the threading process to take place and a quarter inch cutter to pocket out the brass insert holes. Here we can create the relief pocket in the exact positions we need and strategically place brass inserts so that we can mount the actual threaded nut blank to the top of this fixture plate. The hole pattern for the brass inserts were strategically laid out to use Legacy's Low Pro clamps. Now with the blank secure and relief pockets in the right position underneath the blank, we are ready to actually produce the threaded nuts. First, a long straight cutter to pocket out the center sections for the threads and to cut out the shape of the parts, and a side V cutter to actually produce the threads. These round pockets are being positioned directly over the relief pockets that are underneath the material. Now the side V cutter can get to work by starting from the bottom and spiraling up. This is giving us a quarter inch pitch, which, which is four threads per inch with a right directional thread. This will match the thread pattern that was produced on the threaded shaft. We also added about 25 thousandths of tolerance to make sure the threads don't bind as the wood changes between seasons. We'll switch back to the long two flute straight cutter to cut out the shape of these threaded nuts. In another video, we'll show how to produce the mortises on the four ends of each threaded nut. The Legacy Maverick CNC system is the only platform that can combine all of these woodworking disciplines into a single machine. We also left tabs to hold the parts in place. These are easily removed with a chisel or bandsaw and can be cleaned up with a trim router or router table. And there we have it. Two threaded nuts for the threaded shaft. Let's see how they fit. I <laughs> keep cross-threading them. There we go. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, if you'd like to see what a Legacy CNC can do for you, I recommend you visit our website at LegacyWoodworking.com. 
If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below in the comment section, or you can talk to one of our CNC experts by calling 801-491-0010. Now, if you'd like to see more cutting demonstrations like this, make sure to click right over there, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check that notification box so you can be notified when new videos like this come out. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.